morning or good afternoon. I am headed to my first of two appointments this week. I'm going to the pulmonologist today. I'm super excited to probably run upstairs and I don't know if I let you guys know but I went to the ER a few weeks ago and I got a CT done and I have all the imaging with me so I'm really excited to show it to my pulmonologist. <laughs> Pulmonologist, to my pulmonologist, and have him look at it and confirm that there's nothing to worry about. Welcome to my week of first doctor checkup since chemo. Do you guys like my awesome cuck fancer shirt? That was really all just boob, but I didn't mean for it to be just boob. It's super cute. Work, 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 work. Give me see me in him to work, 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 work. Sylvester, Miami. So good. It smells like hospital. It's here. This is where I have to go. All right, then you just verify your name, date of birth, and you should have Then it's all fine. Now we're in the waiting room, and I just got my vitals taken, and everything looks good. practitioner and now we're on a hunt to try to get the CT CD to open on UM's system because apparently it's not opening so we're working very hard to make that happen. It's not really break a stop over there. Not for me. Yeah. Hey baby, hang on the line. <laughs> oh my god, this is tonsil. <laughs> Is this where we are? No, never mind. That's in the Dr. Donna said I'm out of shape. <laughs> Can you be my personal trainer? You want to move to LA? <laughs> Who it is? Who? You follow me. Every time I come, you're always at the registration yes. that I'm at. And when I'm not there, then you. I find him. <laughs> it was so nice to see him. <laughs> so the phlebotomy lab won't fill these vials. So I just went to Hoffman's office in Miami which is like in the same building. And I'm asking them to do it in their office because I just, I really want to make sure that I get as much Hoffman as I can during my visit. <laughs> Here are the vials that I need to get filled. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm gonna get my blood work done here and then go get food, I'm hungry. <laughs> You're goofball. Look at all that blood. The vein is collapsing. No. Oh, no. Did I do that? No. Mm -hmm. blood. No fun. No so much blood. I can't. On the way home, and it's 5 o'clock now. 5.30. It's 5.30. We got here at 1. We're on the way home now. We also got some food. But don't worry, guys. <laughs> I've got the blood. Good morning. So it's not the next appointment, but I just wanted to tell you guys about something cool that I'm doing. I've been entered to a clinical trial. Two of my cousins, their brother and sister, both had Hodgkin's when they were younger. And now that I've had it, we are all entering into a clinical trial that's being put on by NIH. So that's why yesterday you saw all that blood that I was getting. It's actually blood that I have to ship out. It's really exciting and hopefully this is a step towards finding you know, what, what causes this and why people get it and it'll prevent other people from getting it and for a lifelong cure with no relapse or anything like that. So I'm really excited about that. It's something that I wanted to do when I was diagnosed. I wanted to be able to help and find a cure. And I am also, that was like the most silent, lame, uh. there we go. I'm also shipping out a Radiant shirt because somebody bought it and I'm excited about that and it's it was perfect timing because I was just coming home and all the shirts are here. So I've got a little factory over there if you see all that bright yellow and I'm going to ship this out today and if you're interested in getting a shirt, they're really awesome and really cozy. I love them. Kelly did an awesome job at designing them. So when I say that they're awesome, it's not me bragging or being biased because I didn't design it. You can go to radiantracheli.bigcartel.com 
I'll put that link down in the description and maybe across my face right now. They're 20 bucks and it would really help me if you got a shirt. And the shirts themselves raise awareness for young adults with cancer and for Hodgkin's lymphoma. Good morning. Over the past day, I seem to have gotten super duper sick. So, I guess good thing I'm going to the doctor. <laughs> the stress and anxiety that comes from getting sick after treatment. It's so annoying. Here comes Miss America. Oh my god, guys, look at my mom. Do you know why they wave like this? Because their arms flap. Right. But look at my cool shoes. Oh, who got you those? My baby girl. Today we go see Hoffman. And I don't know. I don't understand the point of these appointments. It's just an excuse for Hoffman to see me. Cause I'm so sick of love songs. So sad and slow. So I can't I turn off the radio. Since I've been in this house, I can't get to sleep on time, so I fall asleep at like 3, 4, 5. I'm just so anxious and stressed. I really don't like being here. This house needs to go. Okay, I'll see you guys on the road. Cha-ching! Fun fact about moi. I usually need a GPS to get anywhere. And today, my first time driving to Sylvester all by myself, I did not need a GPS. It's one of those places where you don't want to not have to need a GPS. Does that make sense? Like, I don't want to have to know how to get here on the back of my hand. I even know how to get to the Miami one offhand. And that says a lot. Look what's still here. <laughs> I was just about to ask if you were here too. <laughs> You have tingles all over. And I feel Sorry, I'm, getting, I feel I'm getting flushed. Oh, I can feel it. I'm flushing. I, can I love you, but... God, I just <laughs> so I'm just leaving now, and I have officially become that survivor that gets introduced to patients going through treatment and talks to them, which is cool. That's what I want to be doing. So do you guys want to know how my appointment went and what Hoffman said? I mean, you don't want to know. Okay, I'm going to go home and I will update you guys once I get home. Hi, welcome. I have to be so badly. I'm so tired. Get ready for me to plop into this bed. I can't wait. I'm the fan and to take my bra off. <laughs> so, forgot you were there. I am still cancer free. I haven't really talked in my videos about it lately just because I haven't really been vlogging, but I've been exhausted. Like, have no energy to really do anything. Turns out that I'm a bit anemic. I'm going to start taking iron daily because I don't know how many of you know or just tuning in or your first time looking at my face and hearing me talk to your face but I'm one of those people that doesn't eat meat so my iron's low, hemoglobin's low, and I have no energy as you can tell. And that's pretty much it. After the appointment I went and I had tea with my really good family friends that are like my aunt and uncle. Now I'm home ready to just go to sleep forever. I just I need to lay here, and if people want to come see me, they can. And if they don't, then they're missing out because I'm such a ray of sunshine. Yeah. Thank you for watching my checkup. I will do these, obviously, every time I have a checkup. So in three or four months, there will be another one of these, and I will continue to keep you updated. I made a Facebook page to like the page so that I don't have to continuously share my posts on my personal page. So make sure to like that. And I love ideas for videos, so if you have any ideas, contribute and let me know. I would really appreciate it. Comment and like and subscribe to the channel so you know when I put out new videos. Give this a like for being cancer free. I don't have cancer. I also like can't express to you guys how being here is like so, it's the association with sickness. I think that's why I feel so crappy. I don't know, like I can't sleep at night. I've been up until 5 a.m. every night. I just...
hard. It's very hard to be here. I'm excited to not be here. But I like my family and my friends here. It's just I don't like this physical room. I did have a good day though. I love you guys. Everything's gonna be okay. Yeah, it is, because I'm cancer free. Life is good? Yeah. Why don't push me? Why are you such a bully? Hey, hey. Did you miss me? I did. I did. <laughs> Your periods are regular? Mm -hmm. Heavy? You crave ice? Weird question. How anemic am I? <laughs> yeah. So you need some iron. It may help with your energy too because low yeah, iron. I'm going to talk to you about that. Yeah. I mean, some of it, like you're talking, some of it maybe just be deconditioning and other things, but but I think that you should take some iron. Okay. I think that it'll make a big difference because your red cells are small, your hemoglobin.